Hello, amazing people. Hello, Marifik Zangu. Hello, my friends. I welcome each and every one of you to the Insightful Podcast. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about books that I've read during the lockdown period. And these books, I'll be doing a review of each one of them. The first book that I'll be reviewing is a book called An Enemy Called Average by John Mason. The second book is a book called Saw by Bishop P.D. Jakes. A third book is a book called The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. The fourth book is the 5 a.m club by robin sharma so basically i'll be reviewing three books from robin sharma one book from td jakes and one book from mr john mason i hope you're ready you're excited for this amazing podcast but before we can get started please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel make sure that you follow me on anchor.fm you subscribe as well to my anchor fm channel last but not least make sure you share this podcast with your friends you invite your friends you share this link on your whatsapp status you share this link on your instagram statuses you share this link everywhere on social media because for me right now my amazing people i'm not available in most social media platforms however because i love you guys i love empowering you in as much as you inspire me i love the kind of a symbiotic connection that we have which is mostly centered on uplifting each other and building each other so that we can grow and become better versions of ourselves i've decided to sacrifice time since it's a friday from my busy schedule because you know very well that I, I have crazy things happening including school being one of them so at this point my attention is in some of those things that I, I am doing currently hence being unavailable in most of you know the social platforms however because I love you like I said I have decided to dedicate this special episode for to you whereby I will be reviewing the five books that I read during the, the mandatory government lockdown that we had in Botswana. And for those of you who are new in the channel, my name is Lisejo Monto, young entrepreneur, an award-winning youth activist, global and international business training and rhetorician. I welcome you once again to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe and you become part of the Vision Squad family. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section to let us know how this message has impacted you. The first book that I've read, and I think it's a mind-blowing book, a life-changing tool that I believe will equally change your life if you put your hands on it. It's titled An Enemy called Average by John Mason. So what I love about this book is that when you open it, the first line of it reads like, warning, this book may be hazardous to any area of mediocrity in your life. Isn't that incredible? This actually grabbed my attention because I'm one of those people who doesn't want to settle for an average life. I don't want to live a mediocre life. I don't want to somehow represent or harbor any character, any energy that resembles mediocrity. I don't want to be an ambassador of anything that's substandard. No. I want to go to the top. I want to go to great heights. I want to so high just like an eagle. And when I saw this, it's really intrigued me somehow. It really grabbed my attention to read it more and go deep. It's at that point when I came across this book that I started paging through it that I realized that humans, as humans, we have built in ability to be different, to excel, to go to the top, to change to contribute to build things which are remarkable however as we move through life the challenges and hustles of life somewhat drag us to the area to the zone that we call mediocrity what i learned is that the difference between those who succeed and those who don't is just in how they handle these hustles and challenges that come or that they face along the way it takes a decision to say that i'm gonna go with an offensive or a defensive attitude and many people very often choose to go with a defensive mode. The defensive mode is whereby you always have something else to blame, something else to point at, something else to give accountability to other than yourself. And that is why we have so many mediocre people. That's why we have so many average people because most people do not want to be responsible, do not want to be accountable, do not want to hold the steering wheel, do not want to pedal their own canoes. They want to point out to someone and say that it's because of so and so that I failed, it's because of this obstacle is because of this challenge is because of one two three that have not managed to reach heights their achievements anything that they had set out as an aim that they want to achieve or anything that they ought to achieve in life so it's in this book where you're going to learn that being defensive will not help you it's until a point where you come to a realization it's it's until the moment when you make a decision to be offensive because people who excel in whatever area they excel because they are offensive you gotta be offensive 
aggressive. Offensive people are the ones who, when they face challenges, they decide to go through it regardless. Are the ones who, when they come across obstacles, they decide to jump through the obstacle, fight through, break that obstacle into pieces, and focus on marching forward to the goal that you have ahead. Is this book that reminds me the amazing people we have today, the likes of Mr. Elon Musk, the likes of so many other pioneers and trailblazing inspirations that we have today are where they are because when other people choose to be defensive, they rather choose to be offensive. Elon Musk himself, we know that at some point, many people, including those that he looked up to, do not believe in him. Just like some of us today, when we tell people that this is where we're going, some of them doubt us. Some of the people who you look up to, some of the people who right now are in a better position than where you are, may doubt your vision. Your lecturers, your professors, your parents, your family, your relatives, the ones that you call your friends, they will doubt you. But if you're someone who, who does not want to settle for mediocrity, you will not be in defensive mode and start pointing fingers to say that it's because of my professor that I have not made it. She always said one, two, three to me. It's because of my friends. They always doubted me. It's because of my parents because they didn't want me to go in this path. They said I should go this way. It's because of my friends, my cousins, whatever. That's defensive mode. Defensive mode always wants to dodge accountability. It has something else to blame other than itself. But when you are offensive, when your professor tells you that because you got 49% in a test, it means that, you know, you'll be a failure automatically. You'll not succeed in the real world. Is it that point where you tell yourself that your grades do not define you? Is it that point where you tell yourself that this 24% that I got does not define me? It's my character who I build myself to become a strong character that defines me. It's how better I want to build this, that I will become great, that I will succeed, that I will become. The people who become, most of them were not geniuses as well. Most of them were not as talented as other people. They do not have more talent than other people. It was just in how hard they were. It is in how much persistent they were. It is in how much resilient they were. When they came across obstacles, it's what they did that determined how far they went, how far they reached. So it's not the kind of people that the moment they come across a small setback, they start crying. It's not for crybabies. It's not those who, when you get a 24% in the test, already you give up. It's those who say, I got a 24%. What am I supposed to do? Take that mark. You file it. You say, this is a history. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I'm going to study for this thing. I'm going to get a 100% and I'm going to make that 180 degrees shift from a 0% to a 100%. It's possible. So ladies and gentlemen, the solution is within you. It's all about decision making process. These people who decide not to settle for an average life, who decide not to be mediocre, who decide to not resemble anything substandard are the ones who say that I make a decision. Likewise, you can also make a decision for your life and the kind of things that you want to build and create and the kind of a legacy that you want to leave for yourself. It's when you read this book that you are reminded of you having the power, you having the sense of accountability, you having responsibility in the decisions that you make daily. Each and every day, anything that you do, it's more like a decision. Either subconsciously or consciously, you make decisions daily. And those decisions contribute to the kind of achievements that you achieve at the end of the day. Most people sit down and start blaming. You blame the government. You blame your leaders. You blame your school. You blame so-and-so. You blame this. You blame that. You blame your country. You blame your continent. You blame racism. You blame this. You blame that. It's in finding the escape zone. It's in finding these things that you can easily point fingers at while you're sitting in that seat of judgment that keep you in defensive mode. But the people who decide to go for offensive mind, the ones who do not want to be mediocre, the ones who do not want to be average, the ones who do not want to settle for a substandard life, are the ones who decide not to give in to fear because people in defensive mode are driven by fear the fear of what will people say the fear of failure but success is nothing but a, a recipe that is an ingredient we call failure so you gotta fail first before you succeed and you should not have any fear for failing you should face fear head on and go past it that's the mindset that's how you fight this enemy called average mr john mason in his book an enemy called average he encourages people to write down that vision if you have a vision of the things that you want to build, the difference you want to make, the impact you want to leave, legacy, whatever thing that you have in your heart, in your mind, in your hearts of hearts as a vision, he encourages you to write it down and you use the offensive mode to go after it. It's in having the offensive mind that you create a fire within you. It's in offensive mode that you build this strong fire in you that propels you day by day into making your vision a reality. A minute, an hour, a day, there's always a difference. There's always a 
a movement there's always a change a shift a motion towards your goal towards your vision i really love how this book really instills in you its high achiever mode whereby you start to realize that if you have an offensive mind mediocrity will automatically flee from you if you have an offensive mind excellence will automatically launch itself into you you will not by any means be subjective to mediocrity i i really wish everyone could read these books especially you know the ones that i've talked about so far and the ones that i'm yet to talk about because when you read this book mr john mason thoroughly emphasizes that when you have an offensive mind you are somewhat costing your society because in your average mind you are not expanding you are not making any difference you are just conforming to what's there you are just comfortable in what's there but when you have an offensive mind you build things that improve circumstances in your environment you build other people who in in in, in consequence will build other people and you know very well that leaders are the ones who build other leaders or who produce other leaders leaders are not the ones who just lead and people follow them leaders are those who are also interested in building shaping others to be better improving other people to be better versions of themselves inspiring others motivating others those are what we call leaders so honestly for me this is a book that it has added so much to the person that i am it has made me better than how i was before i walked through it i encourage you to do the same you gotta read books which are meaningful stop reading all these fairy tales and all those useless contents read the kind of contents that will make you a better person because you only have one life and it is in this life that you can advance yourself that you can improve yourself that you can better yourself equip yourself with a kind of knowledge with a kind of tools that will shape you to be as trailblazing as you would love to be you know what i mean it's a book that you should not just read through it you gotta walk through it so that in walking through it it will take you to any height that you desire to be at like i said it's a book called an enemy called average by mr john mason it's the first book that i'm reviewing the second book that's coming up is a book called i love this book it's a book called soul by bishop td jakes it's one incredible read that i've ever read